Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, today, inshallah, we're going to uh, solve the third question you had in uh, your exam. Um, this question is about projectile motion. We have two players uh, are playing table tennis. Player A hits the ball at height point twenty four above the edge. So this is the height point twenty four above the edge. Uh, above the edge of the table measured from the top of the table to the bottom of the ball. The initial speed of the ball is a 12. So this is the initial speed in X direction. OK, this projectile launched horizontally. Projectile launched horizontally, that means the initial speed in Y direction is zero. OK, um, assume a resistance is negligible. Show that the time taken for the ball to reach the surface of the table Point two second. Point two second. Now, when we have a projectile motion, we have to analyze the projectile motion into horizontal and vertical component. So horizontal is x direction and vertical y direction. For x direction, for the horizontal direction, we do not have acceleration. There is no acceleration in x direction. So the only equation of motion I will have is the displacement in X direction will equal U initial in X direction times T. Now for Y direction, initial velocity in Y direction is zero meter per second square. Acceleration in Y direction will take it negative 10 meter per second square in meter per second for the initial velocity. Now I'm going to use this robot equation S in Y direction will equal since we don't have initial velocity in X direction, so I'm not going to write it. I'm going to use half acceleration in Y direction times T squared. Acceleration is negative 10. We can use it negative 9.81 instead of 10. OK. So I'm going to use acceleration negative 9.81. 9.81 divided by 2. This will be negative 4.9 T squared will equal S in Y direction since the motion is down. So this will be negative 0.24. Now divide both sides by negative 4.9 and take the square root. So T will be square root of 0.24 divided by 4.9. Negative and negative, they cancel out. And this will equal 0 0.2 second. 0.2 second. Second question is sketch the graph showing the variation with time of the vertical component, the vertical velocity of the initial ball until it reach the table surface. Now it starts here with, we said V, U in Y direction is zero. Now then what will happen to the velocity? The velocity will start to increase in Y direction. Velocity in X direction will remain constant, doesn't change. So when we draw the uh, uh, arrows, we'll keep the length of the arrows in X direction the same. But the arrows in Y direction keep increasing till it reaches the maximum just before it hits the floor. This is B in Y direction. Now I need the value of uh, the velocity in Y direction just before it hits the floor. So I'm going to use the other equation for so that equation. B in Y direction equals U initial Y direction plus acceleration Y direction times T. U in Y direction is zero. Acceleration. Uh, in y direction is negative uh, 9.81 or negative 10, okay? Times t, so if we, so this will be negative 10, negative 10 times 0.2 or negative 9.81 times 0.2, this will equal negative 
2.2 and we rounded to a significant figure, so it's negative two meter per second. This is the velocity in my direction. So it starts from zero. At time 0.2, the velocity is two. Use a ruler. So this will be uh, the variation uh, of the velocity in y direction with time. Okay. Now see. See the net is stretched across the middle of the table. The table has length, so I have this is the table. This one is the table. The total length of the table is 2.74 meter from here to here. Okay. And the net, this one here, is the net, has height 0.15 meter. The height from here to here. 15 centimeter, that means 0.15 meter. Show that the ball will go over the net. Now, the height of the ball here was 0.24, and it was launched horizontally with initial speed 12 meter per second. Now we need to prove that the ball will go over the net. Now here, the net is stretched across the middle of the table, across the middle of the table. Now, so I need delta x here, delta x, this distance from at the total length of the table from here to here, how much? So delta x, can I use x and y? Okay, here x. Always when you, when you use projectile, when you solve projectile, you solve it uh, in x direction, the horizontal and vertical direction. So delta x would be the total length of the table, so delta x, 2.74 divided by, by 2. And this will equal 1.37. Uh, meter. Okay. Now, this is the middle of the table. S and Y direction will equal U initial. We don't have U initial. We have only the acceleration in Y direction times T. Now I need. I need the height that the ball will go over it, which means this one, this height, this one. Delta, I'm going to call it delta y instead of this one. Okay. So it will be the total height, which is 0 0.24 minus the height of the net, which is 0. 15, this will equal 4.9 times t squared. If I divide both sides by 4.9 and take the square root to find t, so t will equal 0 0.13 second, 0.13 second. I'm going to use the other Sribat equation to find the distance the horizontal distance the ball will will uh, will travel. So S y direction will equal U initial in uh, X uh, the displacement. The ball will travel. The horizontal displacement the ball will travel will equal U in X direction times T. Now U in X direction is twelve times this time which is point 13, substitute here. So S in X direction will be 1.6 meter, 1.6 meter, which is greater than the ball will travel 
a horizontal distance greater than delta X. That means the ball will go over the net. So since the 1.x this number is greater than 1.37 meter, that means the ball will pass or the ball already uh, passing over the net. So the ball passed the net already. The net already. So since SX greater than delta X is the horizontal distance the ball traveled, that means the ball already passed over the net. Okay, that was the solution of question number three. Your example.